Let the speed dating begin. Rosalyn has two men eating out of the palm of her hand, Carlito and Jackie, two men who couldn't be more different. One can give her everything she desires. The other only has his everlasting love to offer. While on a cruise with her two suitors by her side, Rosalyn takes the opportunity to ask them a question. She needs to be sure that she's not choosing an idiot. The one who gets the answer right will win a lunch date with our heroine. What has 13 hearts but has no organs? Choose your answer wisely. Lunch is rumored to have fresh burrata on the menu, and that deliciousness is worth its weight in gold, almost as much as my heart. A can of artichoke hearts? A deck of cards? Come on, Carlito. A can of artichoke hearts is the wrong answer, and they're gross. Let's go, Jackie. Jackie and Roslyn meet up in the reception room. When he sees her coming down the stairs, he falls madly in love. Eager and confident, Jackie can't help but ask her, How much longer before we can begin the rest of our lives together as one? Add me with the same number, multiply this number by four. Next, divide me by eight and you will find me. What number am I? In order to win my love, you have to prove you're smart. Otherwise, I'll be bored. Don't disappoint me. It's X. It can be any number. Indeed, Rosalind doesn't want to commit so fast to Jackie. This cruise has only just begun. After the luncheon, Ruby, Rosalind's mother, decides to come and check out her daughter's suitors. Don't worry, gentlemen. I'm not going to bother you for long. The four of them gather in Rosalind's cabin and spend a lovely afternoon together. Carlito begins to get ready for dinner and goes off to take a shower. Ruby decides to relax a bit with the newspaper in an armchair. And Jackie decides to practice drawing from a live model. What is Rosalind up to? Have you been paying attention? The answer is right under your nose. This one's easy. Draw me like one of your French girls. She is posing for Jackie, who needs a live model to draw from, of course. Jackie here scores some serious points. Ruby decides to give the kids some space. Rosalind, Jackie, and Carlito go out onto the terrace to drink an iced tea on the rocks. I want to make a toast to the most beautiful woman on this ship. No, or rather the most beautiful in the world. Yes, yes, gentlemen, cheers. Carlito can't stop talking. He knows he's behind in this race to love and needs to make up for it. He's talking so much that Rosalind and Jackie finish four iced teas before Carlito even finishes one. 30 minutes later, Carlito falls into a deep coma. How is that possible? You snooze, you lose, young man. Get up. Men are so rude these days. Rosalind secretly ground up sleeping pills and hid the powder in the ice cubes. Unlike Carlito, Rosalind and Jackie drank so quickly that their ice cubes didn't have time to melt. Excellent prevention against mansplaining. Wow, that's an extreme way to get him out of the picture. Who said I was trying to get him out of the picture? Rosalind is about to make her final decision when suddenly the ship hits an iceberg. Help! They take shelter on a lifeboat, where they find a first aid kit containing a whistle. To open the box, they have to crack the code. We need this whistle, or else the rescuers will never find us. Focus!
It's 35. Multiplication comes before addition. Awesome. You're the best. Rosalind grabs the whistle. In the middle of this life-or-death situation, she's had an epiphany. She likes Jackie, but she loves herself more. So, in the words of the great Ariana Grande, thank you. Next. Sayonara, Jackie.